So Lyme disease, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, the question is like, is what is the hardest thing that you've ever had to overcome? Mm -hmm. Would you say it was that? 100%. It that was. was worse than my car accident. Yeah. Um, because mm. I was scared I was going to have it forever. Mm. And a lot of people do. And, and my heart goes out to them because it's this one of the scariest diseases you could have because it's an invisible illness. No one knows what you're going through. My best friend, who I actually said that knows me the best, she had it at the same time as me, except she had it for four years longer and was about to commit suicide um, based on it because it tells you to kill yourself. Mm. Um, and I knew, I knew for a fact that I got it to save her. Mm. Like it was such a weird thing that like I got That's it deep. right. I got it right when her family was calling me saying there's something wrong. Yeah. And I got it exactly at that time because I know I'm stronger than her. I know that I was going to figure it out for both of us. The fact that you think like that tells me so much about how you think. Yeah. yeah. I love that. We're both free of Lyme now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Congratulations. That's Thank amazing. Thank you. Yeah. What do you say to somebody that has Lyme disease? Isn't Selena Gomez, isn't she dealing with she that? She has lupus. Oh, she has lupus. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, Justin Bieber has Lyme disease. Justin Bieber uh, has Avril Lavigne has Lyme disease. Hmm. Yeah. So what do you say to somebody that's going through that? Like, how do you, what, um, like, how do you encourage somebody? What, what, what did you have to have? You know, to, it, to each its own. And mm -hmm. uh, my process for getting rid of it was very different than what I was told to do. Mm -hmm. You know, we're told to go and get antibiotics and get plugged in all day. And I was like, that's not me. Mm -hmm. I am not going to go down that route. Mm -hmm. I'm, I have another option for myself. Sure. And I knew that I could always go back to that option if I needed to. But I'm like, I'm seeing these people going this route and they're not getting better. So mm. this is the route I'm taking. I fully let this, this amazing human into my life help me become free of it. Mm -hmm. And I r truly believe it wasn't about the medicine. It wasn't about what I ate. It wasn't about all those things. It was about the mindset because he gave me freedom. Mm. He told me every day, you were going to heal. You are going to get better. Yep. And if you tell yourself things, you believe them. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I am not going to go with this doctor who tells me that I'm going to have Lyme, de Lyme disease forever because mm. I'm going to start believing that. Yeah. This man over here told me I would get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And we worked on that. Hmm. I got rid of every single toxic person in my life. I feng shuied my house. I did exactly what he said. 11 months later, I cured myself. And it started with the doctor. And it started with him. Mm -hmm. I trusted him immediately because he was so powerful in giving me the right words. And when you feed yourself with good words, mm -hmm. you are going to react that way. Mm -hmm.